Nine millimeters are for autoloaders, right? Not always. Here is a revolver that makes good use of the nine millimeter. So Bob, tell us, why a nine millimeter revolver? Well, why not? That's the reason for the Smith & Wesson 986. Can't argue with that. Welcome back to Gallery of Guns. With us today is Bob Honeycutt, General Manager of Shotgun News. Bob, I never thought of using an autoloading cartridge in a revolver. It's not a new concept at all. During World War I, the U.S. Army was way short of 1911 pistols and contracted with Smith & Wesson and Colt to manufacture 45 caliber revolvers. The ballistics were fine, but they were slow to reload. What could be done about that? Daniel B. Wesson of Smith & Wesson invented the Half Moon Clip, which held three rounds of 45 ACP ammo. Stick two of them in the cylinder, and you're loaded. The Smith & Wesson 1917 revolver was a big success, and they were used in World War II as well. So Bob, what about the years since then? Well, Israel converted Smith & Wesson Victory models to 9mm in the 1950s, and Smith & Wesson made a 9mm revolver for French police, as well as a 10mm revolver for the competition market. So revolvers and autoloader calibers almost a century old. But don't you lose a lot of speed in reloading? Well, remember that half moon clip from World War I? Now we have the full moon clip. It holds a cylinder's worth of ammo. In the case of this 986, that means you load seven rounds at once. When the cylinder runs dry, you eject all seven empties at once. It's not quite as fast as loading an auto loader, but it's close. It's definitely distinctive looking. It's part of the Performance Center Pro series, so it has a lot of special features. To start, it has a 5-inch barrel, just like that 1917 revolver from World War I. A lot of people think 5 inches is the most attractive length for a revolver barrel. It's nicely proportioned, too. It's not too short and it's not too long. It has a forward tapering solid underlug for fast holstering, and it gives it a little bit more forward balance. It has a slab-sided look that's lightened by the fluting at the top of the barrel. It really combines old and new styling cues. Really does. The satin finished stainless steel looks great and resists corrosion too. So why is the cylinder a darker color? It's titanium. Using titanium, which is very strong and at the same time very light, keeps the overall weight of the revolver down. That gives it a lively feel even when you've got seven rounds of ammo in it. It's a fairly big gun, but it weighs less than 35 ounces. And I see it has great sights for target shooting. There's a nice tall patridge front sight, and the rear sight is click adjustable for windage and elevation. That's handy for the 9mm, where you may be shooting bullets from 105 to 147 grains. The grip really feels great. That's a Hogue overmolded grip. It has finger grooves on the front, and is perfectly sized for one or two-handed shooting. There's plenty of clearance for your moon clips to enter the cylinder. So Bob, what about the safety features of this gun? The firing pin is in the frame, not on the hammer. The hammer can't fall all the way unless the trigger is fully pulled. So you don't have to worry about the gun going off if it's dropped. For parents out there, there's a key lock that immobilizes the hammer. Just turn the supplied key a quarter turn counterclockwise and the gun is locked. You can still open the cylinder to load or unload. When we had it on the range, I really thought it had a very smooth double action trigger pull. It's fitted with a performance center mainspring that gives you a 10 pound double action pull right out of the box. The trigger blade is smooth faced for comfortable double action firing. All Smith & Wessons have a good trigger pull, but the performance center guns have exceptional triggers. If you've never tried one, you owe it to yourself to test one out. So Bob, let's say I get one of these guns. What can I do with it? It's a very flexible piece. There are a variety of competitive sports where I could use it, and it certainly would be an excellent home defense gun. Above all, it's just fun to shoot. It sure is fun to shoot, Bob. Thank you so much for coming in today. If a 9mm revolver sounds like something you'd like to try, go to galleryofguns.com and let the Gun Genie do its magic. Just enter your zip code and before you know it, a list of Gallery of Guns affiliated dealers in your area will be displayed with the prices they're asking for your new Smith & Wesson. Order with a major credit card and you can be shooting your choice within just a few days.